Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Redmen TV. My name is Dan Club, and I'm delighted to say I'm joined by Gerald to go. Gerald, how you doing, mate? You well? Doing yeah, very well, buddy. Doing very well. How are you? Yeah, man, I'm all good. Massively appreciate you joining me. Um, and we're here to talk about one very talented young footballer, uh, Pape Bembe Diop. Um, obviously a young man you know very well, and his future and what could be happening. Because last week I spotted a conversation that you had um, regarding his future and talking about a conversation that you'd had with Liverpool. Um, so yeah, you can tell us any more about it and where we're at. Well, what I can see is that. Um... We did have preliminary conversations with uh, with a member of the, the scouting team in, from Liverpool. This was in Paris sometime in March this year. Uh, we had a two-day conversations at a hotel. And we discussed, um, they were inquiring generally about Pap, about Pap Demba, about, um, about his status, about uh, what he's up to, et cetera, et cetera. So mm -hmm. um, we, we just exchanged information and we, we explained to them his contract length. We explained to him the the project that we want for the young boy, mm -hmm. and um, and also the boy's ambition and his personal his personal um, objectives in, in 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 the game. So yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, you mentioned there, young boy, he's only nineteen, of course, still. And if you had to sort of describe him as a player for those of who've not seen him, because obviously he's playing in Belgium at the moment, how would you sort of describe him? What type of midfielder is he? What is he very good at? Where does he need to learn that sort of thing? Mm -hmm. what, what I'll say is he's an all-action midfielder, very similar to, um, I'm not saying they're the same players, but very similar to Steven Gerrard, all-action, box-to-box uh, -box midfielder, can defend, can attack, and scores goals from midfield. This is mm -hmm. one of his, uh, his best attributes. Um, the boy scores goals from midfield, you know. Um, he always rises to the occasion when it matters, and also he has big shoulders, so he takes responsibility for, a te for his teams. Um whether they're needing a goal or whether they're needing a, a vital assist, the boy takes yeah. a vital responsibility. So that's that's pretty much him in a nutshell in terms of his characteristics as a player. As a person, he's a hugely ambitious, ambitious young boy. He wants to, in the next 10 years, he wants to be one of the best players in, in, in European football. And um, of course, if you want to be one of the best players in European football, you've got to play for one of the biggest clubs in, 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 in the world, you know? Uh, but these are his ambitions, and he's and he's working very hard, and um, and that's him as a nutshell. Excellent, excellent, excellent mentality he has. Yeah, good to hear, mate. It sounds exciting. And you mentioned goals from midfield there. He scored five goals in six games at the under twenties Afcon. He scored four goals in three yeah. games in pre season as well. So very exciting. Yeah, exactly. He had a pre he had a preseason yesterday as well. He didn't start for the preseason game. He came on and he scored uh, he scored again. He scored the, the last goal of, of his team's of his team's three goals. So yeah. It tells you a lot about his character, you know? Yeah, one hundred percent it does. Yeah. And obviously you have got a big role to play in his future. You know, you're very much leading his direction and stuff like that as his agent. So would you say there's a good chance that he moves on this summer, whether it be Liverpool or elsewhere? Because I think I'm right in saying Zulta Waragem struggled a little bit last year. So for his own development, does he need to make a move, would you say, this summer? I think so, yes, for sure. Um, we have had a few conversations with some big clubs, um, of course, Liverpool including. Mm -hmm. uh, but for sure, I think that the best move for him would be to move probably in this window. Um, because uh, he's, of course, no disrespect to his current club, but I think that the boy can play at, at a higher level. Last year, the club struggled; they got relegated, mm -hmm. and um, and I think that uh, his level is above that. To be honest with you, it's above the second division of Belgium. So you know, he loves the club, but he knows also that he can do better. You know, so we are we are working on on on, on the best the best deal possible for him. But it's yeah. got to be the right project. Yeah, of course. You know? Yeah, of course it does. Yeah. Um, just on the Liverpool perspective, obviously you mentioned you had sort of preliminary conversations there. Do you expect there to be any more conversations? Were they positive talks? And can you see something else happening further down the line? Because Liverpool, as you know, are going through a big summer themselves, like a huge summer rebuild. You know, Jordan Henderson, Fabinho could be on the way out. Do you expect something else to happen, perhaps? Yeah, for sure. I mean, in the beginning, when we had our conversations, uh, at the time they were linked to Jude Bellingham. So it was sort of between Jude Bellingham and 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 Pap Demba. But of course, 
Jude Bellingham ended up going to Real Madrid. And then now with Jordan Henderson and Fabinho looking to to move elsewhere. And then obviously James Milner has also left Liverpool. It leaves a huge gap for, mm-hmm. for, for midfield reinforcements for Liverpool. I mean, the the representative that uh, that we had conversations with, he really, really likes Pap Demba. He really loves his style of play. And the only issue is his international uh, caps. As you know, um, as a if you're if you're coming from certain a certain country, you need to have enough international caps for the year in order to play in order to move to the Premier League. So we may possibly be looking at a a uh, possibly a buy but low, you know. But we never know. We never know. I can only just say that talks are ongoing, and uh, and we'll see as as things progress. Yeah, of course. So if you had to sort of just finally, if you had to sort of make a prediction for what happens next, you would say there will be a move somewhere in Europe potentially this summer? No, most definitely. Most definitely will be a move. Yeah. Most definitely. Will and what, what sort of fee are you looking to get? I mean, Zolta obviously holds some cards. You mentioned the contract earlier. How long's left on his current deal there? He's got, well, until 2024. Okay, contract. oh, a year left. Okay. And what sort of fee are you looking for? Do you know? Between, I can't really say the figure. To be fair, That's I want to, but I, I cannot. You know, That's all good. no problem at all. And um, yeah, you would, you would then say he will definitely be moving on this summer. Then, yeah, yeah, no, he will be, he will do. But, but Liverpool are very, are keeping an eye on him. And uh, what I can say in 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 regards to that also is, we've had conversations also with the Senegalese uh, national team, and they are looking to to bring in. Pap Demba for the next AFCON, which will be the next January. So, I mean, it looks good because the boy would then get international experience. Therefore, it would be an easier move to come into the in, into England, into the Premier League, if mm-hmm. it happens. Yeah, of course. We'll yeah. yeah, we'll definitely see me. Yeah, following the footsteps of Sally Diaw and Sadio Mane that have gone before him, of course. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. that'd be that'd be cool. Yeah. yeah, no, mate. Honestly, absolute pleasure to speak to you. Thanks very much for your time. And um, and yeah, let's see what happens. One to keep an eye on, I think, from a Liverpool perspective, definitely. Or indeed, if he goes anywhere in Europe, let's see how he gets on. Um, yeah. Good luck to you. Thank you very much again, Gerald. And thank, thank you very much for watching and listening, everybody else. I'll see you all again very soon. Take it easy. Hello, Ron. I hope you enjoyed my conversation with football agent Gerald Sango. Not a conversation I thought I'd be having, let's be honest about it. But he did, of course, confirm interest in his client. And I just want to tell you that I'm doing shows very similar to that and like that all the time over on redmenplus.com. So head over there now, sign up to be a subscriber, and you'll get all that type of content, plus our journal insights, plus all our match day stuff that's coming back now that the new season is upon us, plus all the other amazing content that we do over at Red. Men. I will see you all there.